In this video, I'm going to talk about a no flight director takeoff. So let's go to takeoff mode and switch off the flight director. And let's see what happens. So let's set flex. Now I'm going to pause it right here. Let's see what happens. There are no flight director bars show up. There is no auto thrust arming. There is no vertical guidance available, or the, in fact, there is no FMA at all. The target speed is set at 100 knots, and setting the thrust to the climb T10 does not activate the outer thrust. We will talk about that more later. And in the FCOM, is, there is also a note about do not engage the outer thrust prior to selecting the target speed on the FCU, because if you do so, it will reduce thrust. Okay, let's continue. Let me just speed up a bit. Okay, so here, there, we're gonna go right past the 100 knot mark. And you can see that it just looks a bit off. Um, that is also the reason why later you cannot just engage the outer thrust because the thrust target is below the current speed and you don't want it to reduce thrust. Okay, it's gonna automatically rotate here. If you use this on the CBT, wait, let me just raise the gear. Close it. If you use uh, out, no flight director takeoff on the CBT program, then it will automatically fly. So you don't have to worry about uh, pitching and banking. Okay, so according to the FCOM, it says uh, once you reach the thrust reduction altitude, then you have to select the climb speed. The green dot will be a good start. So uh, in this case, 800 feet will be our thrust reduction altitude. So there's 800 feet and we're gonna set green dot speed or close enough. Let's set the to 10. Then uh, set the thrust levers to climb detent. And you see that the outer thrust does not engage yet. Um, now we have to activate the outer thrust. Okay, so once we activated the outer thrust, now outer thrust is armed and it goes to speed mode. And because the speed buck is at higher, now it will, doesn't reduce thrust. If you wouldn't do that, then the speed buck will be at 100 knots and it would reduce thrust. Of course, that's not what you want during this uh, phase of flight. So now we're going to turn on the uh, flight directors and select, select an appropriate mode. You can see it refers to a vertical speed and heading. That's not what we want. So let's select open climb. It will go to trust climb, open climb, and heading. Uh, heading is for now, fine for now, but we can also engage enough mode. Uh, now we can uh, engage the autopilot right there. So it actually does what we ask for. Because again, like during this phase, in without with an out flight director of takeoff, it doesn't actually... Um, follow the commands of um, the, mobile, the mobile device tilting. So you have to select the autopilot on. Okay, so now we have uh, fixed the problem of uh, flight director of takeoff. Okay, let's go back to the takeoff. Let's uh, do it the wrong way to see how not to do it. So we're gonna turn the flight director off, select flex. And uh, it doesn't say in the FCOM, by the way, but uh, you might want to set TOGA because you don't have a man flex set here. There's, so there's no confirmation of the correct uh, detent set. You could, it's something to consider setting TOGA. Let me just speed up a bit. We're gonna fly past on the knots or not fly, it's still on the, still on the ground. And now we're gonna rotate. Okay, so it rotates. And let's uh, do it the wrong way. So let me just place it here. Um, let me just pause it. Uh, initially in the FCOM it mentioned uh, do not engage the outer thrust prior to selecting a target speed on the FCU. Okay, let's see what happens if we do it the wrong way. So we're gonna uh, engage the outer thrust. If I would then select, um, okay, now you see that lever climb will start to flash because we're gonna, we fly past 800 uh, feet. Okay, it was that lever climb. So now it goes into speed mode. However, the speed target is set at 100 knots. And now you can see that it's gonna reduce the thrust now, obviously, that's not not what you want. It will not allow the of the speed to go below VLS. But regardless, this situation is not what you want to be in. So that is the reason why you have to do it in the correct order. Let me just pause it here. So you have to do it in the right order. And you can remember uh, the acronym uh, STAFMA, which basically stands for at thrust reduction altitude S for speed pull, and uh, set the green dot speed, then thrust in lever climb. And then auto thrust engage, flight directors on, mode, set the correct mode, and then AVE autopilot on. Okay, let's go back to the ground. 
and have a look at another scenario. So what else can happen is that this whole thing about no, no flight directed takeoff, it's quite rare. Normally it doesn't happen, but what could happen is that you simply forget to turn on the flight directors. Now, what might happen is as a reflex, if as you said, flex initially, and you, you will see nothing on the FMA, you go, and that will probably catch you out. You will have a startle effect, thinking like, whoa, that's odd. Why doesn't it uh, show anything here? And then you realize, oh my God, I didn't turn on the flight directors. Oh, okay, so let's say, let's see what happens if you then turn on the flight directors. Okay, flight directors on, and let me just pause it right here. So this is what you will see. You have the climb nav, blue, and one FD2, provided the uh, both pilots turn on the flight directors. There is still not a flight director shown, and also no green FMA modes. So it's still not what you want. Uh, regardless, uh, let's see what happens if we continue. Let me just speed up a bit. Okay, so in this case, the speed is set at the correct number at V1. So that's good. However, let's see what happens now. Okay, we rotate. Now we go to nav mode. And let's select gear up. And you can see there's now vertical bar. Now there's the vertical bar. And it goes into vertical speed mode. Let me just pause here. So that is also not what you want. At the same time, the auto thrust is still not armed yet. It's So far, it's not necessarily unsafe, but it's just confusing. So let's continue and see what happens. Okay, vertical speed, that's not what you want. So you have to kind of look through it. You still are kind of low to the ground. So you have to pitch 15 degrees to uh, fly about uh, V2 plus 10, which you cannot see here because the speed already increased speed bug. Okay, so now let me just uh, pause it. So we can decide what to do now. Uh, speed pull and set the green knot. Okay, that's already done. Let's set that green knot. And then the trust lever, set that climb detent. Okay, so... Trust lever climb detent. You see the outer trust doesn't engage yet. And now we're going to engage the outer trust. So it goes to a speed mode. That's okay because the speed bug is higher. And the flight director on. That's already on. And now we'll set the mode. Okay, so let's set the open climb. So now it goes into trust climb mode. And we can set the autopilot on. Okay, so let's see. This is all makes sense. Yeah, now it's okay. So just keep in mind that if you do a uh, takeoff and then you realize there's no FMA and then discover that the flight directors are off, turning on the flight directors at that moment is not going to solve the problem. You might as well keep them off because if you do turn them on, it's going to also give you a confusing situation. Okay, now let's go back to takeoff. So another situation is where the flight director can fail after takeoff. So that's also described in the FCOM. And it says for failure of both flight directors after the start of the takeoff, the flight director parts will disappear. The FCU window displays target speed, which synchronizes on V2 or the current speed if it is higher. The auto thrust remains armed. At thrust reduction altitude, uh, lever climb flashes. At acceleration altitude, the target speed does not change since it's selected. Okay, let's have a look. So we, for now, we keep the flight director on. We're going to start the takeoff. Right there, and now we're going to switch the flight director off, pretending it failed. Let me just uh, pause it. The FCOM said that the flight director bars will disappear, obviously, because the flight director is off, it's failed. Then uh, the FCU displays the target speed, which synchronizes on V2 or on the current speed. And the auto thrust remains armed. There you go. It's auto thrust blue, and we do get an FMA of Manflex 65. Okay, let's continue. Let me just speed up a bit. Okay, so here it will uh, rotate. You can see that uh, the speed is actually selected. It's not uh, magenta. And so we have something to track on, which is nice. And uh, now we select the gear. Up. And let me just pause it right here. And speed pull set green knot speed at trust reduction altitude. Okay, let's continue. So we're going to set. Okay, first we'll wait until uh, trust reduction altitude. Let me just speed up a bit. Okay. So we're going to. Pull the speed, already pulled, and set green knot. Then set trust lever climb right there. It did tell you to do that because it said lever climb. So now the outer trust is engaged in speed mode. Engage outer trust, and that's already engaged. And uh, flight direct is on. Now it refers to vertical speed mode and select the correct mode. Okay, let's do open climb. Select the autopilot on. 
right? Does that work? Yeah, it seems okay now. So you can see that the procedure of no flight director takeoff is a safe way to solve uh, all of these situations. Thank you for watching and see you next time.